Do you know anyone who fought in the war? Well, no, but I do know of two people who fought in the war. I sort of knew them. What were their names? Well, let me instead tell you one of the stories as it unfolds. Go on. Well, my two older brothers, Harold and Pete, went to high school with this dude. His name was Billy Johnson. And Billy Johnson was a crazy, insane, crazy, 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 insane kind of guy. I mean, he was a really genuine, insane, crazy beat freak. He used to beat people up all the time. He used to massacre them. Back in the day, in the mid-1960s or so, the high school sort of had gangs. They weren't really gangs. But what would happen is they would hang out in the parking lot of the local college during the weekend nights. And each group would have three cases of beer. And I guess they would throw beer cans at each other and taunt each other and call their moms whore sort of thing. Now they sort of had rumbles, but they weren't really rumbles actually. It was more like the head of one group fought the head of the other group. And it was like toughest versus toughest. And it was usually a one-on-one -on -one match usually. Occasionally there'd be three on three, maybe four on four. But basically it was the roughest guy versus the roughest guy. Yeah. But the thing was, my brother Pete was the roughest guy, and my brother Harold was close to the roughest guy. But what would always happen was that this guy, Billy Johnson, was the one to get into the fights. That's because Billy Johnson was insane crazy. He had an irrepressible adrenaline surge, this fierce fightiness, where he'd go berserk and just start smacking the hell out of people. And what would happen to Harold and Pete is that they would always have to pull Billy Johnson off the other guy. Did he beat him up enough to kill him? Well, that was a possibility but it never really came about. Go on with your story. Well, Billy Johnson was not a good student and he knew he was going to get drafted into the war. So he joined the Marines and everybody knew that meant one thing, that Billy Johnson was gonna be the baddest Marine that ever lived. And the story goes, and Harold and Pete told me this story several times, is that Billy Johnson was the head of the unit in, in the war. And they used to go out into the jungle. And Billy Johnson was such a badass that he was always on the point. He was the first one to go in the line on the patrol. And as Harold told me, the man on the point is always the first one to get killed. Uh-huh. But the story is, Billy Johnson led his troop, maybe 12 guys, I don't know, 
I have always imagined a troop to be about 10, 12 guys. They got into a firefight with the enemy, who were all dressed in black, and they were short people. And so it was this crazy melee that ensued. Is that the right word? Melee? Fierce fighting and hand-to-hand -hand combat. People shooting each other in the head 10 feet apart. And the story is Billy Johnson's entire unit got killed, except for Billy Johnson, who survived. Now everyone's thinking that Billy Johnson is a genuine war hero, survivor of a terrible ordeal, the only one who made it after a terrible fight, and the killer of many of the enemy, a big war hero. But there was a catch to this story. What was the catch? Well, when Billy Johnson returned to his camp, he had an injury, and I guess that got him the Iron Cross or whatever. The Iron Cross. Get real. I don't mean to be disrespectful, but I don't know whatever it is those military boys get when they get injured. The Iron Cross or whatever. I just don't mean to be disrespectful to whatever it is. I just don't know the military terminology and what have you. Billy Johnson got a, he got a big medal. But the thing was, Billy Johnson's injury was a shot in the ass. Literally. Billy Johnson got shot right into his ass. In the back, as it were. So the question pending, which Harold and Pete never addressed, which I never asked, the question was, did Billy Johnson get shot running away? Was Billy Johnson deep down and under it all? A chicken. And that has hung over Billy Johnson all his lifetime. No one ever discussed it. No one ever talked about it. No one ever brought it up. Do you think he ran away? Well, the bottom line is, I do not know. Now, I saw Billy Johnson in his high school fighting for him several times, and he had this fierceness in his eyes, this meanness maniac, insane glare, stresses of muscle indicating to me that he wouldn't run away from anything. But since the question has never been answered, the question lingers for me, or the answer lingers. I guess it's meant to linger for everyone. War is dark, dark territory. War ruins everybody and everything. Well, you may be right about that. What was your other story? Well, I don't really feel like telling it right now. Waiter, can we have the check, please? I'll get this one, Mr. Hill. Well, no. Allow me, Mr. Greenbright. Allow me. <laughs> 